Hello and welcome back to a new vehicle showcase episode. Today we are going to take a close look at a rather unique vehicle. This is a Mercedes G-Class ambulance that was formerly used by the German army. The vehicle was handed over in 2017 to its new owner which is the ASB or the German Worker Samaritan Federation. This G-Class is a 1997 model and was refurbished in 2015 according to the ASB. It now serves in the northern part of the German state of Hesse or Hessen in German. It has lost its previous army colors and is now completely white except for the ASB graphics. Unfortunately, there is no word on the vehicle that mentions that it is an ambulance or that it belongs to the special event and mass casualty response team. So let's take a look at the lights and sirens package. The lighting features a total of two old halogen beacons. The unit has a total of one siren which sounds like this or similar. You may wonder what kind of siren that is or how it works. If you pay attention to motorcycles and cars, you may recognize this thing right here. That's nothing else than one version of a car or motorcycle horn. Take another one that sounds slightly different and you already know how the siren is made. I want to mention a few things before we move to the interior. On top of the front is a roof rack with a spare tire. Right behind the driver door are folding steps that allow access to the roof and to the spare tire. The box was simply mounted on a G-Class chassis, so let's take a look into the back. Upon entering the box, you can extend footsteps that allow for an easier access. One of the first things you'll notice inside are two handheld stretchers on the sides and the medic seat in the center. The medical equipment features two emergency bags, gloves, vomit bags, a sole AED, as well as sheets for the stretcher and a bunch of other medical equipment below the stretchers as well as a fire extinguisher in the corner. Looking at the roof, we can see a roof hatch, two lights, as well as an interior blue light. You may wonder why there is a blue light inside the ambulance. Blue light easily fades away in the distance. That's one of the reasons why many Central European countries changed the lights of emergency vehicles from red to blue during the Second World War. The enemy simply couldn't spot emergency vehicles from the distance in both day and night. Even the white lighting inside the ambulance could give away the position of the vehicle, which is why the single blue light is a great compromise between having some lighting and being invisible. We can also see additional curtains that were installed to minimize the chance of being seen. At last, I want to mention what appears to be a part of a bench right there. In the front we can see the old interior and somewhere is a button for the blue lights and another one for the siren. Other than that, I've just seen personal belongings. Please note that the footage was taken right after an exercise, so the vehicle was not entirely cleaned at that point. Also note that this has been a military vehicle, it is more than 20 years old, and just in addition to the actual special event and mass casualty response fleet. I hope you liked the video. Of course I'm interested to know what you think about this unit. Let me know in the comments. 